Yeah, Commandant, and welcome back to the front. We are here, of course, guys, in uh, Sokolo, excuse me, Shilovo. Um, the actual image might say Sokolo, but we're about to fix that. And we are continuing our attack on the Russian lines. Now, we're not yet at the Russian trenches, but we are attacking another infantry position over here. As you guys know, we took this major objective last battle. If you guys haven't seen that, you should check it out. Let's jump into this one and see how we do. All right, my friends. Well, it looks like we're going to be assaulting Shilovo proper, guys. This is, of course, Shilovo, the city itself, the area we really need to take in this campaign, and I hope we can do it. Now, I've set my men up on three different fronts, as you can see here. Um, I guess you could call it four, but it's really more like three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack with these guys this way. I'm going to attack with these guys to the east, and I'm going to attack with these guys over here, once again, to the crossroads area, and then move down towards uh, the southern part, or the northern part in this case, of Shilovo. Let's hope that it works. Alright guys, the battle has commenced. I've already sent our men on assault missions. Actually, I've sent some on hunt missions, some on assault missions. I uh, just want to make sure that our boys are all moving at the same time. Right now, Meyer's looking great. Kandla is looking great. We must get the Bolshevik dogs. Uh, and we are, of course, moving uphill i don't like that one bit but there's really not much we can do about it we've got to move forward so far no contacts and our men are moving unhindered if we can get into that town we can reinforce it and that's going to make the enemy's job a lot harder fall that men fall that we'll go ahead and actually follow candler's brigade you guys can get a real look here we go, never mind, Candler, we've got some enemy contacts, guys. Uh, let's get off Candler here and jump over to the enemy contacts. And here we go, it looks like Klibla is the first to spot the enemy here. Wow, that's pretty intense. Uh, but is it possible that we took out an enemy AA gun? I think we did, guys, we just took out, or is that one of ours? No, I think that's actually a, a Russian AA gun. Let's take a look over here. Okay, so we're moving the rest of our guys over there that way. And there is still some fire coming from this sector. It looks like Keebler, as well as Binder and Gauss, are trying to get rid of it. So I'm actually going to assault this sector right here. Let's see if we can't finish off these Krauts. Excuse me, these Bolsheviks. I keep forgetting who I'm fighting for. I can't help it. Yeah, that's is good. Oh, there we go. So we got the, the Russians down quickly. And we've actually taken a tiny trench position here. Um, oh, there's still one. Oh, there's still one over here, too. Come on, man. Shoot. Shoot! Alright, our men are advancing. There's still more Russians here in the woods. So this is definitely a nice little ambush point. Looks like one of those bullets hit the tree. Oh no! One of our guys just got shot in the arm. Incredibly, this Russian's not doing much. There we go, he's down. And of course, we continue to fire. Look at that close combat, guys. My goodness, that grenade. Our men are, of course, moving forward here. Fuck. He just got hit. I think you guys saw that. You can see even the trees are being rattled by these attacks, but we are overrunning these positions, and that's what really matters. Looks like a Soviet commissar right there, dead in the trench. That's what I like to see. I'm going to go ahead and select the guys we do have, and as you can see, we still see a bunch of men over there in the woods. Um, so let's go ahead and just set targets, make sure our boys know exactly where to fire. Nice shooting, men! And I'm actually going to follow, guys. We don't usually do this, but I'm going to follow a single soldier here so you guys can see what it's like. Fall that! A lot of our guys are actually crawling into the trench. We've actually got a machine gunner here. I mean, I'd actually rather focus on him. Can we switch? Can we? Yes, we can. All right, guys. Our machine gunner, who we're obviously following right now, is trying to get a good bead on this Russian... And this guy actually has a Dushka, so I hope that we can take him out. Come on, get him, get him! Alright, we're sending the machine gun up, firing that machine gun. Oh my goodness, the Russian definitely just stabbed us. Let's take a look over here. So far, we're not getting fire from any other sector, so that's good. We know that most of the enemy seems to be in this wooded area, and I could actually send over more infantry, but I'm sending them over to take the other point. Um... And once I take it, then I'll move them down. Obviously, I wanted them to take the crossroads. They're almost there, so hopefully we'll have that soon. And let me take... These are actually AA gunners, most of them. So let me take the infantry I have over here, and we'll go ahead and hunt in this direction. 
I'm amazed that our men have not been attacked at the town yet. So it looks like we are actually in Trushinko. And I'm actually going to send our guys to hunt into Trushinko as well. Uh, it will send a few more of these guys over here to go ahead and hunt into Shilovo. North Shilovo. Now, once again, I would do a fast move, but I really do want my men to start firing as soon as they see the enemy so we know where the enemy is. And there we go, more enemy contact, and this time it's going to be in Trushenko. I knew that they were going to be here. I just knew it. They, there's no way they would have left this village unguarded, uh, and the Soviets will do everything they can to defend this sector. So our men must go fast with the Blitzkrieg. I might actually send one of these men. Uh, let's take Meyer. He gets to be lucky, and he gets to back. Actually, Knitz, and we'll just go ahead and see cover uh, in one of these homes. sort of cement our control of this area. So I'm actually going to send an assault order. Make sure that our men know the seriousness of the situation here. There we go. We're already receiving some fire from other parts of the town. Go, Maya! Fire! Alright, we've got more Russians. Key point taken, guys, and let's see which one it is. Beautiful. We have taken Trushenko, and at this point, we are actually just in combat with the Russians on the other side of the town, of course. You can see all the gunfire going on, uh, and we want to make sure that we secure this area. So if I have any more men that I can send, I'm sure as hell going to. Looks like those guys in the woods are pretty much dealt with. Uh, I think we can go ahead and start assaulting this area. Right through the woods, we're going to hit the enemy right in the back. That's what we need to do. Wait for reinforcements, men. They will arrive soon. There we go. Knitz is pretty concerned, but Kendla is still moving forward. I like that initiative. And obviously this unit over here, I mean, they are doing exceptionally well in terms of holding our positions. Man, these Russians are dug in, and they're dug in well, guys. Nothing is tougher than breaking uh, an actual urban area like this. It's really hard. We're going to do it, though. And the only way to do it is with a nice, ferocious assault. As you can see, our men are actually moving up here on the right side of the town. Maybe trying to flank the enemy a bit. Oh, that's beautiful. I like to see that. That's nice. Oh, shit. Don't like to see that at all. Well, that MG-42 uh, did get a few kills, I hope. Who's this for your fatherland, man? Of course, our men are still dealing. Uh, Kondler is actually still dealing with men over here on the right side. I'm going to make sure that he spots them. And it looks like the enemy might have some machine guns over here. Whoa! Did you guys see that? I don't know what that was. That was um, some sort of massive artillery shot. Just blew up right in front of our men. Definitely knocked out more than a few of them. Some of them are just uh, laying down in cover, but they're mostly wounded, as you can see. It's not just them taking cover. So, wow, I don't know what that was. It looked like some sort of improvised explosive device, but that was crazy. Meyer's still doing fine. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to assault once again. Forward. Key point taken. Another one. And I think we took the crossroads this time. We did, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and move to uh, North Shilovo on this side. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fast move. Not really worrying too much about contact, although I probably should. I know we have one artillery, but I don't really want to spend it. <clears throat> because you should always use it if you have it, but... Yeah. Okay, we're spotting a Russian... Uh, some sort of Russian emplacement here. It looks like an AT gun. Yes. And here we go, guys. They're trying to get out of the way. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> They're like, they did not see us. We can still escape. No, you cannot, my friend. Sorry. We're going to go ahead, and there we go. Good shooting by our men. Uh, we'll keep assaulting this position with the rest. And it looks like we're still getting some gunfire over here in this sector as well. I'm going to just hunt to make sure. And of course now we're approaching the back of Shilovo. And hopefully this way we can surprise the enemy while the rest of our men hold Trushenko. I think that would be perfect. Of course that doesn't usually work. Perfect doesn't usually work in battle. It's usually a mix of good and bad or one or the other. Alright, here we go. Our men are approaching. And they know that the enemy is in this building. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to hunt, or excuse me, assault. Just, I just want one of our men to throw a nice hand grenade in there. Stealing granat. 
And it looks like we're also firing over here to the north. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've also got some Germans over here. Still causing us some, some problems, obviously. I'll go ahead and hunt behind them. Some Russians, excuse me. You guys know I'm going to make that mistake like a hundred times. Um, B, ah, dang, us Deutschland. Actually, right now, I like the shots we're getting. Whew. It's heavy fire. These guys are not safe. It's one of our radio operators, of course. Damn, we lost the commander. All right, we're going to send these guys in this way with salt from this location. So I'm actually going to focus entirely on North Shilovo for now. Because I think this is a really important area to take. There we go. We're already getting some guys in the buildings. Got a few casualties in front of the buildings and in the buildings. That's good. Uh, we just need to keep up our attack. I'm actually going to assault a little farther ahead here. And as you guys can see, there's some flashes coming from the building there. Our men are returning fire. And that's what counts. Not accept anything but unconditional surrender from these Russians. All right, nice. He threw a grenade, guys. That was a stealing granat. Another one. Boom. Hopefully that killed a few of the enemy there. I really wanted to pay attention to the machine gunner, but all right. Let's focus on this guy. <clears throat> He's getting shot at. Down, down, man. You're doing good. We like you. I like this, getting into cover in the bushes, and now he just hit it. Did you guys see that? He just hit that Russian in the window right there. It's absolutely awesome. It's sad that at the same moment one of our commanders got killed. Um, but hey, that's great. That definitely works out for me. And our men continue to move forward here. So let's actually take these guys. Actually, they know what they're doing. They're already moving forward. They are going to be in the open for quite a while, and that's a problem. Um, and we are attacking a trench line, so I can only hope that we can get to the enemy quickly. Cowards will not survive! But then again, brave men won't either. Alright, we're under fire. We know that. No one needs to tell us that we're under fire. These Russians are definitely fighting from these trenches. And we're trying to overrun them as best we can. If we could just get a few grenades in there, I'd feel a lot safer. Alright, our men are definitely surrounding this region. And you can see all of the bullet holes popping up left and right, but until we get in these trenches, I don't feel safe at all. Closer shots. That is good, Mena. And there's the Deshka. We'll definitely use that. Boom! Good shooting. That's the first shot. I'm hoping that these guys will actually surrender to us. Especially since we're also attacking them from the back as well. If not, these are the bravest Russians we have spotted yet in the campaign. And of course, there are many. Of course, once again, I'm going to just assault. Yes! Good shooting, men! Another one down. We're slowly withering down the numbers here. Of course, they're getting some really good shots on us, too. We have to keep that in mind. And uh, we do hold this position now. So that's a great sign. But we want to go ahead and fully hold it. And the only way we're going to do that is to overrun these positions and just get rid of all of the enemy in uh, the town of Shilovo. Let's also take these two guys and send them to the bridge. Very good. Das ist good, das ist good. We've got a guy here over there on the left, guys. He might be able to take out the Soviet Commissar, and boom, threw a grenade. Soviet Commissar taking cover there. Boom, another grenade. He's got to be down now. He's definitely got cover, though, because he keeps exploding inside the trench. Although, no, I think he's definitely down. He's at the very least wounded. And we've got another Soviet Commissar dead right there. So, awesome job. All right. He's still alive. Look at that. He got shot in the leg. Our men are going to get him. If he doesn't surrender, he's finished. And obviously, he is in shock. That's not our problem. There we go. He's actually injured. You can tell by the little cross over him. You might want to bring him to his medical station and question him afterwards. Not a bad idea, I think. I think not, yes. 
So we're going to go ahead and actually pop over here. We're still fighting enemies in this sector. So I'm going to go ahead and assault, once again, another trench line. And, except this one has a nice AT gun emplacement. Not that that's going to stop us, but... You know what? An AT gun is pretty effective against infantry. Um, I've, sh I've, sh I've seen this game. Um, it can definitely do some damage. Of course, our men are constantly firing at it. There we go. They hit the AT gunner. And we're also advancing from the south. We can't forget that. With Borky. Okay, it looks like Trishkino is quiet now. For the most part, for the most part, of course, not entirely, but as you can see, the uh, the trenches are now under our control, and that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to take Kenig here and just basically um, ask him to seek cover in these trenches. Of course, we still have gunfire coming from this area. Right, let's take the rest of our boys try to get over here. I'm actually just going to get over here because it looks like a fortified area, like all of the woods. Looks like a good area to shoot from. Get to the bridge, man. What's wrong with you, yeah? Got Vizna back here. I don't know what he's doing. Okay. Trushinko, Trushkino, excuse me, is ours. It's that simple. Uh, we'll leave Meyer and Thess back here to watch it, but with the rest of these guys, I'm going to keep advancing towards the next position. We never stop attacking, guys. We can't. It's just not something we can do. Not something we can afford to do. And I'm actually going to assault in this direction because I'm willing to bet there's going to be enemies in here. You can already see some unit markers. And let's actually just have these guys hunt. Just be careful, boys. If we can knock the enemy out of Shilovo, then we have a serious defense ahead of us. Uh, that in itself could be a problem. And look at that tracer round. Whoa. All right, it's actually not looking too bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack the enemy here. So we're going to assault the enemy from behind now. We're attacking them from the front. We're going to attack from behind too and hit them on two, two fronts. Uh, I'll also take Steiner, and that's actually, if you guys know Cross of Iron, great movie. Uh, it's one of the main characters. I'm hoping he's just as good as the original Steiner, because I'm sending him to capture North Shilovo. And I'll also send these guys to capture North Shilovo, but I don't want them caught in a crossfire. And right now, they've got to deal with these Russians before they can move. And they're doing a lot better on this trench line than they were in the last one. Go ahead and set targets. They definitely have to keep their heads down for the most part. And that's a good sign. Nice shot! We got an AT uh, rifle man. And actually, I would have preferred to get a uh, just a regular rifle man, but you know what? One is better than none. Commander's killed. That's not something I like to see. And our guys are very close to taking this trench. Nice shooting, boys. Looks like another Russian still alive here. Come on, man, you can do this. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. The Russian actually managed to get us. Looks like one of our officers is fighting back, kicking this Russian. <laughs> he doesn't want to go down. What is going on here? He's going to get up. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, we definitely got him back for our commander, but that's unfortunate for sure. Boom! That's what I like to see, a beautiful grenade throw. As you can see, those guys are either dead or seriously wounded. Uh, I can't believe that that guy is still alive. It's quite amazing. Now he's no longer alive. But we've overrun the uh, trenches. We don't have to worry about them anymore. And now we can begin our assault into Amber 1 and the rest of this area. If we took another key point, it might be North Shilovo, actually. No, it's the bridge. All right, the rest of these guys, look at how much gunfire we are sending over to North Shilovo, guys. It's unbelievable. 
It really is beautiful to watch. And I'm hoping that this is going to take out some of the enemy there. Because we do plan to assault it. Um, but I think we're going to be careful with how we assault it. If we could keep them under heavy fire like this, we could definitely assault a lot easier. Foya, foya! As you can see, these men have been battle-hardened. They're wounded for sure. This guy's going to need some medical attention to treat that leg wound. But as long as we can keep up this overwhelming firepower, we should be fine. Beautiful. Definitely hitting some enemies here. Steiner, of course, is still approaching. And actually, we still have some enemies in the trench, these little bastards. So we've got to make sure that we kill them completely. Come on, Patch. You must kill these Russians. All right, a lot of incoming from North Shilovo. I don't know if those are mortars or... Uh, if they're just flares warning the other Russians where we are. But we could see that they're definitely in this townhouse and this townhouse here and this trench line. So we need to be careful approaching, but we've got to approach. It's that simple. Alright, das ist gut, das ist gut. Und now we go for the full attack. Here we go, we're going to go full attack, guys. Uh, of course, I'll keep some guys, maybe Meyer. We've got a few guys that are stationed in town, so I'm actually not worried about that. Um, but maybe we'll leave Szlemanski. That sounds strangely Polish. Uh, and Meyer over here. Come on, Steiner. We've also got Dornbinger over here moving up. And it does look like we are advancing. That's what's important, guys. As long as we keep that fire up in advance, that's good. And we just got some prisoners. Pretty sure they're going to be from the trench. And sure enough, they are straight to the camps with you. Yeah, those guys fought a really tough fight. We got to give it to them. I mean, look at this. Just look at the trenches here. Like, these guys really sorry, these guys really fought hard. Um, they killed a lot of uh, Germans, our men. But we also managed to kill a ton of them and a lot of their officer class, which is great. Something Stalin had already done, but uh, we just helped him a little bit more. So here we go, guys. Now we are attacking from all positions. The true assault on, Shi on uh, North Shilovo, which is uh, one of the most important objectives, obviously. And then Shilovo being the main one. Here we go. It's a great Blitzkrieg. Infantry Blitzkrieg in this case. I like that the guys are keeping up the cover fire. I think without that, we would all be dead. I'm actually amazed at the lack of casualties we've had in this battle. Considering what we've done. Beautiful. Russians are definitely getting hit now, but firing out of those windows is helping them a lot. Obviously, those homes provide a lot of cover. That's got to be a mortar. See that little black streak? It has to be the enemy firing mortar rounds. I just can't see what else it would be. And what's this? In the middle of no... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got to see this. This is weird. This is really weird. In the middle of nowhere, right? What is this? Is this just a Russian... Is it an AT gun unit? Is it a machine gun unit? I don't know. It's a mortar unit. That's what's been firing at us. Beautiful. Now our men can spot it and they can take it out. And of course, right there, just one heavy burst. We went away for a few seconds and definitely wasted those guys. All right, we're nearly in North Shilovo with, Sh with Steiner. Maybe he is the exceptional commander everybody's mentioned him to be. Um, so we're going to move in. I'm going to also set targets for Steiner so he knows exactly what to look for. Makes things a little bit easier for both of us. We've got a lot of infantry here just kind of firing. Gonna speed things up just a little bit. Oh, 
Wow, there we go. There's the trench, and that we have to assault. If we can get into the trench, the tap of battle. Move, Steiner. I trust you with this. There we go. Steiner is advancing. Oh my goodness, man. He's getting so close to the trench. And this is actually one of Steiner's troops. If he can get one uh, Stalingrad into the trench, that would be great. If not, just as good. Just gotta keep attacking. I don't see any heads peeking out there. Definitely some puffs of smoke, though, from gunfire. Soviet Commissar, come on, man. Nice shot. Our guy's actually got him. He, had a, he was armed with a PPSH, and we just... Oh, my goodness. Is that... Yes, we just lost a man there. That was vicious. He just got hit. And apparently, we have more contact over here near Amber 1. I'm not too concerned about it, but I should be, because, uh, as you can see, there is a large trench line here. So, we're actually going to take some of these guys and assault this area here, while the rest of them continue to assault North Shilovo. That's what I like to see. A burning Russian. That is good. And there we go. More Russian prisoners. It's amazing. So they're definitely not liking this. Now I hope this guy can get a Stalingrad into this area, but it looks like he's wounded. And that building is a key target. That little Dacha is, uh, is, is a dangerous place. Tracer rounds continue. We'll take Zimmer and Nitz and move them into the barn over here. And there we go, guys. North Shalovo is officially under German control, so that's perfect. Now we just have to take the main area of Shalova, of course, um, and that should be it for the battle. I'm amazed this battle is still going on. At this point, I would have expected the enemy to definitely surrender. Taking out their commissar over here. I'm going to assault this area. All right, beautiful. Here we go. Sayer is right there at the building. If they could just throw a few grenades... To get rid of that final troop in there. Assuming he wants to give up. There we go. He's wounded. He is wounded. And he's down. Beautiful. Glorious. And as you can see, a lot of Russian gunfire coming from the trees over here. I have no doubt that the enemy has uh, men in this area prepared for us. But we're going to try to overrun them anyway. And this truly has been an amazing infantry blitzkrieg this entire battle. Go, Potch, go! Go faster, ya! It's not gonna shoot itself, shoot, man! There we go. Nice! He's only firing when the Russians pop their heads up, which is pretty funny. There we go. Come on, man. You got this. See a man getting a promotion today, yeah? Huh? What are you doing standing in front of him? This is not an easy advance. You can see we definitely have taken hits. We've taken losses, but these are all acceptable losses. And those Russians really don't want to give that trench up. Nice shot. Right through the shoulder. He might actually survive that wound. Alright, so we are officially in North Shalova. It looks like there's one Russian soldier trying to make it out. He just got hit so many times. Uh, and now we will move into the main area of Shilovo. This is, of course, the main target. And this has been probably my longest Graviton Tactics battle yet. I can't wait to see what the time was on this. Um, but it was awesome. It was totally worth it. We did lose a vehicle. It's probably going to be one of our AT guns. Actually, it's one of our anti-tank groups. Oh, it is an AT gun. 
Looks fine to me. Oh well. We've also got a few troops down here that I didn't notice moving towards Shilovo proper. So let's go ahead and assault. Shilovo actually looks really pretty. If you guys can take a look here, there's a nice Orthodox church. I can't wait to put a German flag on top of it, but we will have to wait for that, of course. And at this point, we're just taking our whole army and moving into Shilovo. Just a major assault. Come on, men. This guy's got pretty good cover. Although I fear he's alone. Alone with the Luga on the eastern front, not a good idea, yeah? Alright, I'm actually going to send Steiner and Binder over here to assault from this direction. It's probably a good idea not to have any Germans attacking us from the woods at all. It's just going to cause us problems. Over here, as you can see, it looks like Olberg is really trying to search for some Russians. Um, but I don't know if he's going to find them. These Russians are well hidden. What are you doing, man? This guy's got guts. You have the makings of another officer Sturm here? Maybe, maybe not. Alright, he's definitely behind enemy lines. Come on, man. Get that pistol to good use. Just lost a commander, that's not good. It's getting harder, guys, to take these areas. Um, I mean, our men have been fighting, obviously, all day, as you can see. Capture? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did we lose? No, they didn't capture any. Stop saying that. Unless, is it possible that some of our men gave up? Yes! <laughs> Amazing! So some of our men have surrendered. Uh, that's incredible. I can't believe it, but we actually have some Germans that have surrendered, despite the fact that they have their comrades all around them. And all they need to do is keep pressing the enemy uh, to take this position and win. Um, but maybe we should go ahead and try to get a ceasefire. We have taken a lot of positions, and this trench line is a tough one. But one more trench line couldn't hurt, could it, guys? Forward men, attack! Our guys are scared. Look at this. Everybody's cowering. It really might be time to call for that ceasefire. But I'm not ready to give up quite yet. Say Kleiber and Meyer are actually moving towards Shilovo. I would be surprised if the enemy didn't have any defenses there, but considering the amount of Russians we've seen, maybe they've put everybody here in the woods and uh, defending the other parts of the town, etc. We don't know. Uh, so I'm actually going to assault back here. Make sure my guys know to go past the trench, even. Beyond the fire, yeah, tell me something I don't know. A lot of our guys are in trouble. And as you can see, more flares. Oh, yes. The enemy is calling for reinforcements. And, of course, we're under fire. Yes, 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 yes. We know. We know. Everywhere. Everywhere we're under fire. So we are doing a major Blitzkrieg here. Of course, it's hard to do a Blitzkrieg without armor. But this is the infantry version of a Blitzkrieg. Which is just overwhelming force right in there. Get there, man. Get there. This is good. This is good. Yeah, Kandla. No, kill the NKVD officer. Oh, this NKVD officer is going to get away. There is one wounded behind him, though. Don't stop shooting, man. Here we go. Another one down. Another enemy down. Another one right through the chest. Did you guys see that? Beautiful shooting. And there we go. Both commissars down. Um, we are doing all right. Like I said, it's all about overwhelming force. We got these guys trapped. We just assault and take them out. Do not be afraid of death, men. You will live on forever. One of our guys is seeking some cover. Probably not a bad idea. 
And Langana, I think this is actually the guy that lost, oh, they lost their commander. They're definitely not doing as well as the other units. Still approaching Shilovo, and no gunfire yet. It's quite amazing. Let's take a look and see if we have any other units over here. We do, of course, have our AT units back there. Um, I mean, just so much has happened in this battle. An unbelievably bloody fight for this area. I'm just going to take all these guys and send them into Shilovo. No time to dilly-dally, man. See, they're tired, guys. They're not running. They're just slowly walking. And we sent them on an assault pattern. If we were to set them on a hunt pattern, this would make sense. But really, they're just taking their time. This has been a, just a crazy fight. And I think my men are fed up with it. A few more enemies. We've definitely taken the trenches out. They are totally under our control. As you can see, just a mass of Bolshevik dead. But it looks like we've got more trenches again ahead of us. And uh, maybe even an enemy machine gun emplacement. Or an AT gun emplacement. Look at that, they just blew up their own men. They killed our man too. Look, they just blew one of our own men up with an AT gun and killed their own uh, guy right here. It looks like he's actually just wounded. But that was hilarious. So they definitely are afraid of our advance. Just as afraid as we are of advancing. Get it. That thing's gonna fire again. They're going Gaddafi on us. Firing AT guns at soldiers. Let's take a look over at Shilovo and see if we spot any action. Nope. Looks pretty quiet to me. There we go. Now we see the full extent of the enemy here. And of course, more trenches. I mean, it never ends. These guys have trench line upon trench line upon trench line. And enough men to man them for years. So the only way we're going to break through here is to take these trench lines. Let's take a look over here. Still not under fire by Shilovo, which I find really strange. Over here on the left, we also have enemies, so we will, of course, assault on that area, too. Come on, men. One more trench. That's all I ask of you, men. Like, once I take Shilovo, I can ask for the ceasefire. Key point taken. We've taken. Let's go ahead. We can ask for the ceasefire. It doesn't look like the enemy wants any part of it. I can't blame them. It's not looking great for them. Okay, there we go. The enemy's going to accept a ceasefire now, and it's about time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and accept it. I don't want to lose Shilovo. Um, and while we still hold it, that's just a great point to keep. So I'm not even going to go for Amber 1. Um, these guys have done enough fighting for a day. I mean, it's amazing what they've managed to accomplish. Uh, breaking these trenches and, uh, and really overrunning the Russians. But, I mean, so many commanders down, a lot of men down, I'm sure. We're about to see, actually, the exact numbers. Uh, but this has not been a fight without massive sacrifice. And it's worth it. Now we hold Shilovo. Total victory, guys. An unbelievable amount um, of actual uh, action here. Look at this. We actually uh, killed 83. Uh, the enemy, 73. Uh, we wounded 14. The enemy, 4. We took 14 prisoners, of course, and the enemy took 2. Uh, and apparently lost a vehicle. I guess that would just be their, one of their AT guns um, in this case. Really awesome, guys. I mean, this is just amazing that we managed to do this. Really is a total victory. And I can't take, can't wait to take a look at the operation and see what it looks like now. All right, guys, this is the battlefield. And indeed, we have taken Shilovo. Look at this. It's in our con it's under our control. They still have a few units here, an AT gun specifically. Uh, but we're going to deal with that really soon. And I'm going to go ahead and, of course, go to the next turn. Now we decide what we're going to do with our, uh, with our units. And I'm actually going to move this leader up here. I'm going to move this unit here. We're going to attack with this infantry unit. We're going to move this unit here. We're going to attack with him as well. 
um, into Rodokov. And I'm going to do the same with Linauer. I'm going to try to hit this area. But basically, we're just going to keep doing what we've been doing. Overwhelming force in these zones. We don't know what to expect over here in this zone. So I'm a little scared to move in. But... I think it'll be worth it. So we're going to go ahead and hit that zone hard too. Fortunately, we're not getting those armor reinforcements yet. Now let's also finish off the enemy here uh, near our other objective. They don't seem to be too strong here, but I'd still rather deal with them than have to deal with them later. All right, this is good. Let's bring Mandi up. He can attack as well. We can take Fuchs, and we can attack with Fuchs too. Um, I think we can attack with him. If not, he can at least provide some much-needed support here. So there we go, we'll do that. And we'll also take Hulkben over here and try to hit the enemy like this. Look at this, guys. We're hitting them from so many directions. I'm really hoping this is going to work out for us and uh, we can actually win this campaign entirely. I think it's a definite possibility. Let's go ahead. Boom, boom. These guys are digging in. We don't need that. We'll move them out. Move Kunz up here. Basically just give some support, some uh, command support to our men. And let's do this and drop it over here and this over here beautiful all right guys uh let me know what you guys thought about the battle down below we're gonna go ahead and end the turn here and hopefully these will be some interesting battles to fight uh and uh we'll be able to take the fight to the enemy even more thanks for watching guys take care and have a glorious glorious day